Originally I was going to do this test months ago, but like many people I had problems with fixed pattern noise across my camera. In any underexposed areas of the image you could see vertical lines of noise. My camera was exchanged, but unfortunately the replacement was even worse than the original. Hoping for the third time to be the charm, they replaced it again, and I'm happy to report no more fixed pattern noise. If I really underexpose and push the shadows right up, I can get a hint of it, but that's trying to get noise. If I shoot a dark scene, I get a dark image with no lines of noise. Perfect. So, on to the test. We've got two IR filters and two types of ND filters here. First we'll try the Hoya UV IR filter and the Tiffin hot mirror filter. Then we'll test the Hoya Pro ND 4, 16 and 64 ND filters for two, four and six stops of light reduction, plus the Tiffin variable ND filter, which ranges between two and eight stops. First, here's the scene with no filter, then with the Hoya filter, and now the Tiffin hot mirror. As you can see, there's a bit of color difference with the Tiffin image coming out more red. When we look at the Hoya versus no filter, those are much closer. Then we combine the two filters with the Hoya Pro ND 16 filter. And again, the Tiffin hot mirror gives a redder image. With no UV IR filter and just the Hoya on its own, the green isn't quite as nice, but it's not bad either. The Tiffin again continues to be warmer. The Pro ND 16 and Tiffin Very ND filter at 4 don't quite match, but it does say the dots on the Very ND filter are a rough guide only. If you're trying to be exact for some particular reason, the Tiffin isn't ideal there. There's also a big color shift between the last two stops of the Tiffin Very ND filter. Here it is at this minimum setting. In particular, the greens are very different. Then here it is versus the Hoya Pro ND64, both of which are shot at the exact same settings despite the Hoya being a six stop filter and the Tiffin being set to eight stops. Then finally, here it is with no filter at all. The colour of the Hoya Pro ND filters are certainly more faithful to the original image. I ran out of time here, but hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of the difference. The Tiffin Very ND filter is certainly more convenient, but where you'll save time in the field, you'll spend more time getting the colour right in editing. That might be better for some people and worse for others. Okay, thanks for watching, and now without fixed pattern noise across the image, I look forward to getting some great footage from the 4K camera.